Einstein has a big epiphany with this. He's actually influenced by um, a philosopher, a philosopher and a physicist, Ernst Mach. You know the Mach number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the speed yeah, of yeah, Mach like, 5, Mach, Mach 5, Mach 6. That's named after Ernst Mach, who's the first guy who sort of described what happens when stuff moves faster than the speed of sound. Mm -hmm. He has this very famous photograph um, black and white back in those days, like with the, the sh like this is like Civil War camera, you know, like the Ken Burns yeah, documentary. You have to, like, shit. Go down behind yeah, the yeah. Like he took a photo of a speeding bullet and showed the shock wave. Oh, that's sick. using like those cameras, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is an insane feat. I actually still don't understand how he got that photo. I was gonna say like that would yeah. Like that's an insane photo to get, right? Even now, I don't know how to like with a <laughs> digital camera yeah. how to get that. So. Yeah. But but so he does all all this physics stuff, but he's also really into philosophy, and he he champions this thing called positivism, okay. which is the idea that we should be concerned about describing stuff that we can see with our immediate experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, this, so this is not woke ideology. No, this is not woke ideology at all. This is like what is what is in front of me, and what can I like see and be sure exists. Mm -hmm. Okay, be very very sure exists. Mm -hmm. Einstein takes this to heart and he starts asking crazy questions. Okay. <laughs> He's like, what is time? And everyone's like, what are you talking? Like what time is time? And so he comes up with, with relativity. It's amazing. Yeah. Yes. Um, everyone's like dope. This is dope. 